Welcome back to Spotlight TV. I'm your host, Joanna Luda. We are here with a special edition for you guys. We've got the one and only Canadian Venezuelan, Nebai Rowe. She's a fabulous interior designer. And may I add, she's also the fabulous co-host for Now What, broadcasted by Rogers TV and Bell Media. Thank you so much for having here, for having us here with Spotlight TV at one of your clients' home in downtown. You're going to showcase what you're all about, what what's happening, what's trending, and we're talking about your journey. So first question, let's talk about how it all started for you. You were born in Venezuela, you came to Canada, you came with the Canadian dream of, you know, getting your dream along and getting it and taking over despite barriers and obstacles. So tell me a little more about how it all started for you. When I come oh, first, thank you very much, Joanna, for inviting me to Spotlight TV. So yeah, when I come to Canada, you know, I am in Venezuela business administration, administration. So I was a student there that career. So when I come here, I changed my career for interior designer. Why? Because you know, I I changed my career because I I think okay, I have the opportunity in this country to to do what I want, mm -hmm. you know? Eh, yo amo, mi pasión es la decoración. Y en Venezuela, I saw all the TV show, you know, like Steven and Chris, Sarah Richardson, uh, todos ellos, yo los veía y ellos eran mi inspiración. Cuando llegué acá a Canadá, pues dije, ¿por qué no? Si puedo hacerlo, es my big opportunity. So, do it. I love that. I love that. Let's talk about how you initially started, though. Like, you know, myself being an immigrant coming to coming from Ecuador to Toronto, like we, we had to start from the, from the bottom. We really did. And it was tough. A lot of challenges. The barriers were tough, especially learning English was very wow. tough for us. You know, let's talk about the challenges that you faced during your career. Yes, it's difficult when you come here with another language, you know. Esa es como que la barrera del idioma es lo que te frena y te da un poco de miedo comenzar una nueva vida en otro país que no es el tuyo. It's hard to start, but it's not impossible. So, you, tú solo tienes que prepararte, estudiar y hacer las cosas que te gustan con pasión y hacerlas bien para lograr lo que quieres. Well said, I agree with you. So let's talk about how you realized, like looking back, take me that, take me back on that journey, like when you realize like, uh-huh, I want to do this. I want to be an interior designer. Now I understand you want to share it in college, just like myself. I did journalism broadcast. You studied <laughs> yeah. interior designer. Yes. When did you realize you wanted to get into this? Okay, uh, my career in com eh, comenzó en mi país mm -hmm. because in the beginning, um, empecé a decorar casas de mis amigas, de mis padres, todo así. When I came ca to Canada, so I was a student in Sheridan College, um, y empecé a hacer mi trabajo en esta área. It's not easy, okay, in the beginning, because, you know, it's a little hard for the, el tema de, lo que hablamos anteriormente, el idioma, el inglés, first, um, pero eh, comencé a trabajar, a crecer, a aprender, y fueron, darme, de, fueron dándome oportunidades de hacer más, trabajos más, cada vez más grandes. Y en ese interín de, los, de esos trabajos sale la oportunidad de trabajar en TV. Porque uh, no tenía en mi mente trabajar en TV en Canadá, you know? Sí. So it was a great, great and big opportunity uh, for, for, um, para entrar en Rogers Television. I love it because my career started also with Rogers TV. Thank you very much, Rogers TV. I want to know exactly, you know, you incorporate your style, your personal style, your, your skills in Now What TV. I see the segments you guys do. It's very lifestyle, very out there. I love it. So let's Thank talk you. about your personal style and how would you describe it for our audience here with Spotlight TV? Ok, I think de, que tú tienes que ser tú mismo. Eh, no sabía que, te, que reunía esa condición para la televisión. Y se presentó un día y lo hice, y lo hice bien. Al, al productor le encantó y dijo, ok, perfecto, estás contratada, comienza a trabajar. Y lo más lindo es que I have my, my decoration segment. So it's, it's my career, continue my career through the TV. I love it. That's it. Uh -huh. You know, you got to just seize the moment, seize an opportunity, and that's what happened with you. I'm so proud to also call her a friend. She's a great talent. She's going to be going and showing us how to get the look. So let's talk about this room. This is a gorgeous room, by the way. I love it. Such unique pieces here. It's so eclectic and lovely, and it feels like a sanctuary. So let's talk about the inspiration behind this room. 
Yes, I chose this apartment because it's perfect. It's as an example for this fall season. So, but before I want to say thank you to Renzo Garcia and our own Richardson for opening the doors um, to, to their house. You know, but um, this is lovely uh, apartment. It, the style is eclectic style. Uh, have the perfect color for this season. Um, it, the best important for this room is you can, they mix and match different texture, different color, different style, you know. And eclectic style is more inspiration about the cada época, eh, viaja a través del tiempo. Tú puedes combinar modern with contemporary, with uh, antique, with Luis XV, eh, marroquí, whatever style that you want, you can do in, in eclectic style. Solo debes tener un poco de cuidado que eh, no todo el mundo puede hacer este tipo de decoración porque combinar tantas, tantas épocas juntas en el siglo XXI que estamos ahorita en este century, si no tienes un poco de conocimiento, puede lucir como más, como mes, como si fuera lleno de muchas cosas. Como mucho, mucho clutter. Sí, como, como exacto, como clutter. Entonces, eh, hay que tener cierta experiencia. Y es por eso que yo escogí este apartamento, porque Aarón, precisamente, él es también diseñador. Mm -hmm. Y entre los dos pudimos manejar ciertas partes de decoración de acá del apartamento. Y su estilo con el mío y con el de Renzo también, porque estuvo también involucrado en la decoración de su casa. Obviamente, ellos viven acá y tiene que ser el estilo que a ellos les gusta. Entonces, pudieron recolectar piezas que me encanta porque Aaron, sometimes he's working around and he see some basket or some table, you know, and he picked that table and painting and putting your house. So it's a great idea. I love that, okay, because I'm very frugal with my home. Everything, every piece is very unique. Yeah. So let's tell the audience where they can get these unique, gorgeous pieces. Because I understand one of your timbits, one of your tips <laughs> is to go to those fabulous antique shows. Also, what else do you want to share with us? Yes, uh, you can go to the different antique, antique stores or tan simple como ir a un garacel and pick some pieces and bring to your house. You can painting and you can restore and that's it. Gonna, uh, va a lucir como algo, una pieza nueva, una pieza única. Lo que me gusta de este ambiente es que es so fun, eh, es muy, muy alegre, es muy divertido porque puedes ver, puedes ver cada pieza diferente. It's not boring, you know, it's not boring. You, porque cada espacio que ves, Tienes una pieza única, una pieza diferente y se complementa muy bien con la otra. Hacen un perfect match y es por eso que este estilo de decoración puede jugar con todos los elementos que tienes aquí alrededor. Me encanta de verdad cómo está decorado este apartamento. For sure, I love it. It's very neutral, yeah. very beautiful. I love it. Speaking about pieces, yeah. I love this. This stood out. <laughs> When I first got here, this is screaming to me. It's unique, it's artistic, it's yes. creative, it's lovely. And Where did you get this piece? This piece is a uh, eh, por una, una tienda, fue comprado en una tienda, pero si tú ves, eh, existen dos tipos de, de texturas acá en este, this wall. First, the wallpaper. The wallpaper is texture wallpaper. It's not plain, you know. Uh, uh, it's, it's okay, it's like gray color, you know, but the other piece, is this one is plastic. And look like metal, That's look, plastic. yeah, it's plastic. So you can see, you, tú puedes ponerlos de diferentes formas. The different way, you can use the different ways. It's going to look amazing. So that's why in the, the, in the eclectic style, you puedes jugar con todas las piezas y ponerlas de una manera diferente, pero siempre que tengan un toque elegante, delicado, que sepas cómo hacerlo. Fantastic. And that's where you come in charge and you're the interior designer to say this is what's going to look fabulous in your home. So speaking of different unique pieces, I also fell in love. These are one of my top faves right now. This lovely, lovely table. table Let's huh? talk about the table. It's a rustic ta table. Uh, with, you see the wheels, so it's metallic, it's oxidado, but this is the idea that it looks like this. You can paint it, you can paint it, you can paint it. Puedes pintarlo, puedes cambiarlo un poco y vas a tener otra pieza diferente en the same 
you know, the same piece but different style. So, esta, esta pieza pues realmente es única y va perfecto a pesar de que tienes un, un sofá que es un sectional, es mm -hmm. modern, so, but, pero con, se complementa bien y tienes el cow high del, de, la, de la alfombra. Entonces, todo juega engancha perfectamente como es como un rompecabezas pero como dije anteriormente tienes que tener mucho cuidado en este estilo de decoración pero a mí me encanta porque es muy divertida so right now we are here in the lovely bathroom I love 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 the actual lighting the glamorous mirror I love the candles let's talk about the inspiration this is a Victorian style so it's simple you, you can Cambiar tu baño solo con un simple wallpaper and nice mirror and very beautiful uh, wall lamps is going to be great. You're gonna, you puedes lograr un cambio bastante grande solo con pequeños detalles. Fíjate tú que este es un baño pequeño, es un small space uh, bathroom, pero con este estilo, con las candles, todo le va a dar un toque mágico y romántico a tu baño. I love it. I feel like I'm at a spa. It's fabulous. All right, so we're back here in the lovely kitchen and it truly feels like I'm in South Beach. It takes you everywhere. I don't even have to go anywhere. I already feel like I'm in South Beach. So I understand that this room was a $200 budget yes. and you incorporated. So let's talk about this place. Yeah. Yes, it's easy, it's just $200 because, you know, you just uh, you remove the doors mm -hmm. and painting in this color is the same color that South Beach, I feel, in, you know, Miami in downtown Toronto. <laughs> and change the, solamente los hot, tú los cambias y los colocas del estilo, el color así bien animado y alegre porque esos colores son, son bien animados y bien alegres son los que se usan realmente para ese estilo art deco. And that's how it is when you go to South Beach, Miami. It's sexy, it's vibrant, it's colorful. There's a lot of color here. Let's talk about the artwork. So this client in particular, again, radio TV personality from Peru, he incorporates his artwork. Let's talk about these pieces. Yes, these pieces are original, uh, son original de Peru, porque él es peruano, obviamente, y fíjate tú la combinación de los colores que bellos, el azul con el rosado, con el rojo amarillo, y es una pieza que va, ¿dónde es el perfecto lugar para esa pieza? En la cocina, porque tiene todos estos colores, entonces le da más vida a esta parte de la cocina. Me encanta, me encanta, but what also I love, what also me encanta here in this space, <laughs> truly, check this out, guys, right And here. Yes, Beautiful. This, this chandelier is handmade. Todo puro spoon with the, wow. de unos, con cuerditas guindando, bien original. Y eso se está usando muchísimo también. Es fácil de hacer, no cuesta mucho dinero. Puedes coleccionar varias cucharitas, varias spoons y colocarlas guindando. Y es súper fácil de hacer. Me y no gastas no gasta mucho dinero y luce, mira, maravilloso el ambiente. I know, under 200 bucks. That's why you're <laughs> the best interior designer out there. That's fabulous. Thank you so much. So right now, we're here at one of the coolest spots, the most important areas, the dining room, where you share that special moment with your family members and your loved ones. Yeah. You're sharing the experiences, you're sharing meals on the table. Let's talk about this dining room and the inspiration. This style is um, eclectic too. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see different pieces in this area, this lovely area, you know, es un, donde todo el mundo se reúne para, para una cena, para comer, pues que es un sitio muy importante. Pero puedes sentir lo acogedor que se siente. Fíjate tú, this base is from eat, es para comer, es para comer y sin embargo está colocado como una especie de centerpiece. You see? Es como el, el centro de mesa con, con una vela muy atractiva, además que esto es natural 100% esta planta que está en el medio. Entonces podemos ver que aquí en alrededor tenemos diferentes objetos, diferentes elementos que se complementan uno con el otro, a pesar que son diferentes estilos y diferentes épocas, porque en este estilo de eclecticismo, uh -huh. style, eh, todo tiene una historia, todo es una pieza única, todo tiene un sitio diferente, una época diferente. En, es, en este small space, you can see different style, for example, You can see this uh, painting. Mm -hmm. Eso lo hizo una chica amiga de los, de los muchachos que estuvo cinco meses para hacer esta pintura. Ella eh, lo pintó en Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. Y imagínate tú el acabado como de esta pintura es amazing. Es realmente impresionante. Pero combinado con esta chandelier que es moderno, mm -hmm. fíjate tú, pa estamos pasando de una época hacia another another a otra época y igualmente la, la mesa 
que es con color cherry la madera. Es Where did you get this piece? It's lovely. This piece is supposed to be another garage sale. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Under a budget. So what was the budget in this room? In this room, uh, it depends because this, this painting is very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. Ok, pero en todo lo general podríamos decir como, bueno, this lamp is expensive too. Mm -hmm. Some pieces are in this area are expensive. Pero en general, sin poner esas, esas piezas, podríamos decir que entre unos 500 dólares o 600 dólares sería. That's right. a good deal. Being under a budget is fabulous. I love that. So I'm so excited. I'm here at the patio in the balcony. I feel like I'm already in Morocco. It's such a lovely sanctuary. It's quite a lovely oasis. I love it. I love what you did to this space. You really, really incorporated what the guys wanted and how you executed. Let's talk about the inspiration. The inspiration for was the Marroquí style. Uh, if you can see different texture here, like, you know, the um, animal print in this chair and you can see the table land is estilo escocés mm -hmm. so different style just in one place algunas algunas piezas acá fueron escogidas de la calle y fueron traídas para este ambiente puedes ver que también estamos rodeados de la naturaleza porque tenemos plantas alrededor flores que asemejan que estás en un sitio super natural cuando estás en medio de downtown toronto can you imagine I love it. It really feels like a sanctuary. It's gorgeous. Under a budget, again, only $700. Guys, yes. you got to hire her. She's incredible. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias for including us here with your client with Spotlight TV. Gracias. Thank you, Thank you very Muchísimas much gracias. for inviting me to Spotlight TV. Gracias. Thank you very much. She's the best. <laughs> <laughs> and we also got to say muchísimas gracias to the one and only coolest cat, Renzo Garcia. How Thank you. you. I love seeing you on the show, by the way. Thank you very Thank much for you. having us in your gorgeous condo. Well, you know, I hope you know you enjoy the tour. It's, uh, I think anyway, I did amazing job with the apartment. We feel comfortable and everybody's more than welcome to come over, you know. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and don't forget to follow this cute cutie <laughs> on Twitter at Renzo Garcia TV. And for more information on all these fabulous segments, all you got to do is head over to our website, JoannaLuna.com. If not, head over to YouTube, Joanna Luna. And guess what? Don't forget to add me on Twitter and Instagram at Joanna G. Luna.